Welcome to Wisdom from the Word. The Bible Fellowship Church is a family of believers who want to help others discover and strengthen their relationship with Jesus Christ. And we're praying this message helps you strengthen your walk with Him. Now let's dive in. Good morning and welcome to Wisdom from the Word for today. It is Saturday, April 9th, and as you know in this series, uh, we've been walking through the book of Proverbs, and we're really just looking for some neat ideas on how to help us with our everyday living. So today, I want to talk about pride, and pride is something that the Bible has a whole lot to say about, so I want to look at Proverbs 11.2, and that says, when pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with humility comes wisdom. Now, Solomon wrote the book of Proverbs, and so he wrote this passage. And so to get a really great picture of the truth behind this verse, I want to take a look at Solomon's life in 1 Kings. So Solomon really had everything he could ever ask for. Um, God gave him great riches, uh, immense power, and uh, wisdom. When he looked out his window, everything that he saw was his. Everything he surveyed was his. But he wanted more. And why was that? Because of pride. So let's look at 1 Kings uh, in 11, starting with verse 1, and let's see how that worked out for him. So it says, King Solomon, however, loved many foreign women besides Pharaoh's daughter, uh, Moabites, Ammonites, Edomites, Sidonians, and Hittites, all the ites. They were from nations about which the Lord had told the Israelites, you must not intermarry with them because they will surely turn your hearts after their gods. Nevertheless, Solomon held fast to them in love. He had 700 wives of royal birth and 300 concubines, and his wives led him astray, just as God had uh, told them would happen. Uh, as Solomon grew old, his wives turned his heart after other gods, and his heart was not fully devoted to the Lord his God as the heart of David his father had been. So why would Solomon do something like that? Why would he so clearly disobey something that God had told him not to do? Uh, and as we said before, the answer to that is pride. Uh, I have a feeling that um, Solomon had so much stuff and was so powerful that uh, he didn't think that uh, you know, disobeying one little thing would be such a problem, or he thought that maybe he could just get away with that. I have a feeling that um, he was thinking to himself something like you heard in the garden, uh, that maybe God had said something and he, he thought to himself, did God really say that? You know, did he really say I, I couldn't marry other people? Because that would make me happy. And why would God not want me to be happy? And so, you know, he, I think he probably also looked at himself and said, you know what, I'm the smartest guy I know. So there's no way that these women are going to pull me away to, uh, to uh, run away from my God. In fact, I'll probably bring them towards him. Uh, and I don't know if you've ever been caught in that uh, particular stupid logic when you're with somebody that God's clearly told you not to be with, and you can imagine how that worked out for you. Um, so as we're reading this, and as we, we look through uh, these verses, you kind of hear the, uh, the theme song to Jaws, you know? As Jaws is coming up on people, and you just know something really bad is going to happen soon, that's the kind of feeling you get when you're reading where God tells him not to do it, and then he keeps doing it. And so uh, I suspect that, that Solomon got away with it for quite a while, uh, because the, the scripture says that when he was old, is when he, his heart was turned away. Uh, and as he got older and he slowed down, all of that sin that was, was rolling behind him caught up to him and just simply rolled him over. And his, his wives led him astray from the Lord. Uh, his wives also led his children astray from the Lord. And so where idolatry had, had been an issue anyway, it became, a, it became an absolute epidemic. Uh, once we got into the reigns of his children and the kingdom was split, uh, lives were shattered, and the people suffered for it. So there's two points I definitely want to bring out as we're looking at this. Number one is that God gave Solomon the, uh, the choice. He didn't force him to obey, and he doesn't force us to obey. We all have the choice of whether or not to do what God has clearly told us to do. Uh, and if we choose not to, much like Solomon, we're going to have to deal with the consequences. And the consequences most often are much more painful and cost us much more than we ever imagined. Uh, the second point in looking at Solomon's life here is that uh, one-time obedience is not enough. It's not a one and done. So because we're obedient on a Monday doesn't clear us for the rest of the week. When we look at Solomon's life, he started off very well, and he lived very well for quite a long time. But even though he did that, he finished very, very poorly. 
and that cost him really everything that he had and cost the kingdom. Uh, and when you look at uh, Solomon as, as he gets older, he writes one of the Old Testament uh, books called Ecclesiastes very late in his life. And he writes about how the chasing the women and chasing the, uh, the riches to bring happiness, uh, at the end, he says, was all meaningless. And when you read the actual, the, 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 uh, the last verse there says, you know, God will bring every deed into judgment. And uh, Solomon was very, uh, was very clear about that. And he certainly saw it happen. And, and it, it's very real for us too. So uh, I want to thank you for joining today. I uh, hope you all have a great rest of the weekend. Let's pray. Lord, just uh, I want to thank you for today. Thank you for your word, Lord. Thank you for the example of Solomon uh, and the example of obedience and disobedience. And so, Lord, I just pray that you would uh, give us wisdom to know what it is that you want and the courage to do what you say. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us for Wisdom in the Word. If you're looking for additional resources to help strengthen your walk with Jesus Christ, visit bfcsebring.com or download our mobile app.